Okay, so as you recall, we modified our mosaic. So let me turn off the cut lines here. You can see that it's already looking pretty good. We were able to match the overall scenes to each other, which created some problems in the water, which we then fixed with the dodging points along the cut line. So that's pretty simple way to uh, get the mosaic ready to go using the mosaic preview. The next step is to actually produce the mosaic itself at full resolution. So what we'll do is, again, we'll pull up our help file for the next routine, which is Moss Def. So mosaic definition, if I switch to Python, can get a little code snippet down here. Can open up Notepad. Just gonna open up a new file, paste that in. The actual location of my uh, files on disk, I'll just get that ready to go. So what I'm working with here is the XML file that has been used to make the preliminary edits to the mosaic. So once again, that's in our uh, mosaic uh, folder. So I'm going to copy the path, paste that in. Just keep, make sure there's no double quotes there. And the mosaic definition file that's going to be created. So I can probably use that same location. And I'll just call it mosaic def.xml. Get rid of the double quotes. I know that this is 8-bit uh, uh, RGB data with three channels, so I'll leave that as 123. So I'll just leave the defaults and make sure that uh, everything is all set up here. I'll save this as a mosaic def. And once again, I can go to my command prompt and execute that. So what I want to run is the MOS def rc1. And what that's going to do is create this MOS def.xml file. So let me just open up that folder so you can see. Okay. There you go. Simple as that. Uh, the next algorithm to run is mosaic run, MOS run. So let me just pull up MOS run and get the parameters on that. All right, so switch to Python, get my code snippet at the bottom. And I'll open up, a, create a new file here. Okay, so the SIL file, this is where my scenes are listed. So this is the location of the uh, mosaic preparation file. Which is in which is this one? Then it's looking for the mosaic definition file, so I'll just paste that in here. Change it to MOS def. It's in the same location. Where I want my mosaic to be uh, created, so I'll just uh, create uh, a folder. Full res, make sure that folder is, is available on disk here. So it should create the mosaic in this folder. Uh, I've got options for tiling, resampling, and so on, but uh, that's pretty good. So I'm going to save that as moss run.py. Okay, so I'll just open up my command prompt and uh, I've saved this out to mosrun.py. So I'll go ahead and execute the script and it should dump out the full mosaic in this folder. So let's give that a try. Looks like I've got double quotes there. So fix that up, save it, rerun it. There we go. So now it's creating the mosaic in this folder. That should only take... Uh, a few moments here so okay so the mosaic is complete it looks like it took about seven minutes to generate the full resolution mosaic so let's go take a look at it uh, there we go there's our final mosaic so you can zoom in here look at our changes that we made see how they look remember there was a big cut line cutting through the water there which is 
pretty much completely gone. 